in this session, we're going to look at how to modify your system setting to access uh, additional library folder. Now, these are the folder where you might have created some of your own library content. And you don't want to mix them with the out-of-the-box library from Revit. And also, you might have downloaded some of the library from the manufacturer website, and you want to keep it separate from the out-of-the-box content for better management. So this is how you can do it. Uh, first, you go to File, and from the drop-down, select Options. Now in here, uh, you will go to the file location, and you're going to click on Place. Now in here, default, you have the metric library and metric detail library. These are the two default uh, uh, path for these two categories of library. And in here, I added my own library search path in here. So I click on plus sign and then go in here and I click on this button. I go to the location, E1 drive, library, router family. And so I can browse uh, in here and go to my location, E1 drive, router family. So this is where I have my router families on my cloud drive. And I select OK. And they add this item in here and I have additional item and I just rename it to pause library. So I just duplicated what I did previously. So I'm just going to delete these items. And if I want to um, have the search path to go to this library, when I look for families and other content, I can use up arrow and move it up to the top. Now, before I do that, let's just leave it as default right now. I'm going to select OK and select OK. Now, if I go to insert low family, it will go to the default metric uh, family under all the best RVT 2019 Library Canada. Now, if I change the setting in the file location under place and move this my personal search path to the top of the list and select OK and select OK. Now, when I go to low family, it will go to this search path, OneDrive. And then I can browse to the content of my uh, families. So this is how you can modify uh, the search path in your Revit family. Now, the other search path, search path I created for um, downloading web content library, I created a new folder on G Drive and web download library in here. I have a number of different uh, folder in here. Now I'm going to go back to Revit and then from the options and then in file location under place, I'm going to add this search path to my library. So click on this and go to G Drive, Revit, Revit web download library, select open. And then this is, uh, maybe I rename this, I click in here and say web download content. And I move it up to the very right top of the list and select OK. And select OK in here in the options. Now when I select low family, it will go to this directory. So it's not that difficult to set up multiple library that you can access fairly easily. So you don't have to go to low library and then go back to uh, browse and browse through all your different drive and search path to look for different uh, content that you may to add. You may need to add into your into your project file. So I hope you like this video and find this video helpful. Uh, please uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching.